Yeah, being a Christian doesn't automatically equate to being a good person. You know, it's, it's sad because a lot of people, especially black people, they still haven't figured out yet that, you know, that, you know, a lot, there are a lot of good people out there, but they're, they're not Christian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you have a lot of people who are Christian who do a lot of bad, sinful things. So I don't still, still don't understand why you still have like a large portion of the population that, um, equate Christianity with good as, as if, you know, comparing it to like as wet as to water, as if being a good person, being a Christian is one or the same. And a lot of people still, still have that mentality. Like, you know, you can't be one without the other, you know, which, which is real sad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, there are a lot of good people, you know what I'm saying? Out there who look for a partner, but they're not Christian. And a lot of Christians, I, like I said, I don't know, I don't know what's going on through their mind, but I think, uh, you know, especially nowadays, I, I think they're going through a lot of cog- cognitive dissonance because, you know, we live in the era, we, we're living in the information era. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of history that's been suppressed is readily available. You know what I'm saying? And also, Christians have to, really understand that a lot of times, you know, you know, especially within the black community, you know, the reason why there's a lot of so-called quote unquote black conscious people, they, it's not that they hate Christianity. It's really because it's really just intuition. You know what I'm saying? They can see through the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's nothing personal against Jesus, nothing personal against the church to a certain extent. But, you know, it's really just uh, intuition, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you know, we observe nature. We have a good instinct that there's more to it. There's more to life. There's more to, more to the universe than just what the preacher is saying. You know, more to it than just what the Bible is saying. You know what I'm saying? Because we live in a very diverse information overload society. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So a lot of, a lot of history. I mean, you just Google stuff. And three seconds later, you know, say it'll break down the whole history of Christianity. It talks about, you know, they'll talk about the Nicene Council, you know, how Christianity was stolen from ancient pagan traditions. You know, Chris, Christmas was a pagan holiday. Easter was a pagan holiday. You know, you know, Jesus came from Horus, the Egyptian god Horus and the sun gods. And the, it's all astrological, you know, the 12 apostles, the 12 signs of the Zodiac. You know, I can go on and on and on. You know, this information has been out forever. You know what I'm saying? So, but you still have a lot of people walking around who just totally naive and oblivious, you know, thinking like, you know, Jesus, the only way, you know, saying if you're not a Christian, oh, you're a sinner. You know, I can't date you and I can't marry you. You're not saved. And I don't, I'm like, that's, and that's, and that's really, I mean, it's, I mean, that's found like, you know, across America, but mainly with African Americans, so called black people, so called African Americans, because if you look at like white culture, they don't, they're not as religious. I'm, I'm just being totally honest. White people are not as religious as black, as black people. Black people are more religious than white people. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if you look at white culture, you know, just look on TV. You know what I'm saying? If you watch like the white TV shows, white movies, uh, romantic, romantic comedies, Harry Met Sally, Will and Grace and all these, you know, stuff like that. You know, you see white people in happy relationships and they never bring up Jesus not one time, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? And they have better and white people on, on average have better marriages th- than black people. Less, no, le- I mean, you know, less divorce rates, you know what I'm saying? Less cases of illegitimacy. And you don't you don't see white people hardly ever saying like, oh, I, I, I need a husband who's a Jesus, who's worship Jesus like me. You know, you never see you've never seen a white person do that. You just see black people do that. And black people, we got, what, 77% illegitimacy rate, kids born out of wedlock and all this kind of stuff. And it's just, you know, you know what I'm saying? Put two and two together, you know what I'm saying? You know, being a Christian does not automatically equate to being a good person. You know, everybody in the world has figured that out except for African Americans. And they wonder why they frustrated. You know what I'm saying? So, so the black Christians really have to understand that, you know, reason why a lot of black people, you know, they're into ancient Egypt, they're into uh, African religion, you know, they're into the Moors or whatever, you know, they're into Rastafarian, Hebrew Israelite, 
uh, just anything. The reason why they're doing that is not because they worshiping the devil or they lost and stuff like that. They're just trying to, you know, they're just in tune with their ancestors. You know, you know, so it's just intuition, gut instinct, nat natural progression, you know, saying, you know, what I'm saying it's just common sense, you know, what I'm saying plus, you know, in America, we got freedom of religion. So by, they're not breaking any laws. And I'm not a Christian. I'm not breaking. Technically, I'm not breaking into laws because we have freedom of religion. The First Amendment, freedom of religion. So if you, if you have this mentality like, oh, you got to be a Christian like me or something wrong with you. You know, that's a cultural authoritarianism. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're imposing something on somebody else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's totally uh, authoritarian. You know what I'm saying? And what and what Christians, especially black Christians, what black Christians really need, need to do is they really need to sit down and engage conscious people and find out why they believe the way they believe or think the way they think. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen like a big time black preacher. I've never seen like a T.D. Jakes or a Criffle Dollar call up the Moors and say, hey, you know, why y'all don't, don't believe Christ no more? You know, let's have a forum. Let's have a t town hall discussion about this. Because black black women are wondering, black women try to find husbands, but all, all the black men are conscious, you know. So we got to have a, a forum, a town hall meeting about this. You never see, that. you never see that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And all and most of the black Christians, black men who still go to church, most of them are either gay or effeminate. So you know, what I'm saying so, black women they are pretty much in a dilemma, and they're, and they're black preachers, you know, black pastors, they're not addressing the issue. You know, saying I wish they did, but for some so for some very odd reason that you know, saying that they stay clear of that topic, and I think if they started dealing with that topic, you're gonna see a lot of good results.